For our scripture reading today, we'll read from the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verses 17 and 18. It reads as thus, By faith, Abraham, when God tested him, offered Isaac as a sacrifice. He who had embraced the promises was about to sacrifice his one and only son. Even though God had said to him, it is through Isaac that your offspring will be reckoned. Imagine this, you have been praying for a son. For many, many years, you've tried lots of ways to try and have this child. And after many years, a miracle comes, you have a son. Now, this is what had, had happened to Abraham. After many, many years of praying with Sarah, God decided to bless them with a son. And whilst you are still enjoying the son growing up into a young man that you want them to become, all of a sudden, the very same God comes to you and says to you, you need to sacrifice this one and only son. How would you react? Now, this is what Abraham had experienced with his son, Isaac. When you look at the, the scripture, there, there's only two things that God wanted to see from, from Abraham. Firstly, he wanted to see what was in Abraham's, Abraham's heart. Secondly, he wanted to see if God was more important to Abraham than his son Isaac. Now, there are a lot of things that we pray for for many, many years, asking God to bless us with something. Some of these things may include finding a job. Some of them may include having a spouse. And with, with time, God decides to bless us with whatever that we want. The very same God may come in, in, in a matter of time to say that you must sacrifice the very blessing that he has given to you. Now, there are two things that you would want to prove out of him wanting you to, to part with whatever that he has blessed with. He would ultimately want to see whether he himself is more important to you than the blessings that you have. In life, there are things that we cling to. There are different Isaacs that we have in our lives that we do not want to let go. And because we hang on to these things, we lose out on more blessings that God wants to bless us and continue to bless us with. It is important that as we live our lives, we realize these little Isaacs that we have in our lives that make us um, see the, these Isaacs more important than the God himself who has blessed us with these things. My prayer today is that as you continue with life, realize the small things that you have treasured in your heart, the small things that you are not willing to sacrifice so that God in your life ultimately becomes number one. Now with God, you must always know that it's either him first or nothing at all. God bless you. Amen. Amen.